Hey Stampers, it's Gator again and I'm just doing a quick walkthrough of the um, 8x10 Flutter album by Graphic45. I have uh, added a few little bits on the end. I've added these gorgeous metal butterflies. They can be squashed flat or they can be stood up depending on who's having the album. This is the back page. I quite like this. It reminds me of the roots on flowers and underground and little um, tunnels that ants would probably make so I've used this for the spine piece gorgeous butterfly beautiful flowers I love all this vintage writing and stuff I just think it's absolutely stunning so you know it's got little quotes on there I just love that and it's the same on the front as well I love this have a good day flutter bloom be happy this beautiful butterfly. I've added another one of these here. I'm not having a, a rib enclosure because it's a book, so not all the time I have to add them. I've got this cluster of flowers that I attached with a hot glue gun and then sprayed with shimmer paint. Absolutely beautiful. This gorgeous lace. Love this. I suppose you could tuck another photograph in there, maybe under the flowers as well. Add one on the front. So I've really enjoyed making this and I've just been requested if I will make another album using the Red Robin um, Christmas papers. I, I will do that and very shortly too but I'm going to see if I can get some other bits from that collection like um, ephemera cards, cross parts, die cuts, anything to do with the Red Robin collection. Ribbons, lace, gems and stuff like that. I'll see if I can get quite a few things together. And I think I had them all from Every Crafts to the Pound. Really cheap. Um, so I'll see what I can do there. And then I'll make a Christmas album as well. So, lovely. So this has got four huge pages. And it's got space in there for another one. Um, what I did, I attached, 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 attached. And then realised I'd got a big huge gap at the end. So what I would do, say, if, if you wanted to do this spine at three inches you would get away with that extra page so you don't have to have it or I might go out there and actually do an extra page and pop it in that space because the hinges on these are three quarter of an inch I should have attached the first one and the second one and then attached the back and the third one and then left the bigger gap in the centre but there is space for an extra page in here so there's still a lot more so you might you never know what I could even because I've got loads of this paper left so I could add an extra page maybe so and like I say it opens out beautiful and it's a, like a waterfall effect on the pages love it and here I've just got me find uh, a little tuck spot this is a floating pocket as I would call it I've added in a, a one of the cutter parts and it goes all the way down to the bottom may even add some more embellishments inside I should have mounted that really on black cardstock but it says whole happy days I love the buzz the ladybug be happy live life in full bloom I don't know what a whiffle is but <laughs> if you know it's got inchworms and creepy crawlies I just love it I think it's there we go fly away home again oh beautiful beautiful so page one quite a lot going on in this one. I attached this with my hot glue gun and the elastic. This is held on. This is a tuck spot also so the photo can go straight all the way up to the edge. You open this up then and you've got here space for more photos. You've got the beautiful, uh, oh what are they called, trims from the cut parts. So you've got space for photos here and here open this up you could add a gorgeous photograph there may add a little tuck spot on there as well but this is a pouch and when you pull this out again this so you can photograph and go all the way to the top oops and then it flips over and you've got space there for more photos love this and i've popped a little thumb hole there so you know as to pull that out she says, trying to push it back in. <laughs> and then here at the bottom, we've just got these sections. You've got photo space here. Again, you can add behind there. This is just a stick. Oh, no, it's not. There we go. You can add this behind there as well. 
this opens out so you've got space for four photos just on the flat you could put another photo here we've also got this beautiful card again you can add photos right behind I love it and then you can flip it and you've got space for two more photos there you could add a gorgeous photo there as well oh I just love this album so these fold shut this does come down and I thought there was a magnet but it's not it was the closure that was doing to keep that shut these have got the little ants paper on and that just keeps that closed like that and then we flip over there is a pocket on the inside which I've got to finish decorating I want to add strips here and here and across there and the same on the back I've got to do that for four pages so they've all got a hidden pocket in there and I want to add a tassel so oh cramp so they can be pulled out easily they do slide all the way back in I'm probably trying to do it where my fingers are there we go goes all the way back in and then we've got this beautiful page here I added another one of those gorgeous cutter parts and that is some journaling lines oh and I've got to put strips down there oh again you haven't finished <laughs> so this has got a magnet but because there's so much going on I don't think it wants to stay shut but it's great so I'll flip up the top we've got these photo spaces here and these open up we've got another photo there another one there and then you've got the bloom beautiful big picture can go on there with this gorgeous beautiful um, strip that was in there so but there's a magnet in there and there's a magnet inside there as well listen and that just keeps this page closed like that and then we've got a twin pocket here I've decorated one of the tags already I've still got a few to decorate that fits all the way down into the bottom so does this one I'm going to finish decorating this and these are separate pockets well I added my because my magnet is here I added the DSP as full and then just drew a black line down the centre so it looks separate and in here we've got um, a little booklet that hold, opens out it's got little stickers on there and it on the back as well and we've got another one as well these are quite a large size these are five by six and yeah you can fit a six by four photo in there as well and on the back so two of those beautiful booklets and I just wanted to stagger those I want that one at the back actually up that side so I just left them so you can stagger them but they do go all the way down and you don't want to get them trapped down there so hence the reason I'm staggered at them and then that's the pocket and these are the two little pockets as well love these so the booklet I've just removed out of here is just triple pockets absolutely lovely and they go trust me they go all the way down so that's hence again they're staggered so but I've left a little cut tuck spot there so the picture can go all the way down the bottom perhaps they could journal on the back I've added some little uh, I love this page and again it's got a where is it there it is again it's got one of those photo mats which needs to be decorated still oh yeah, there goes my clippy flap on this side of the page we've got a staggered waterfall I love this and I've patched up the papers just beautiful to give it like um, oh you know when you're using your scraps up that's why I, I enjoyed this page so much and I've left this with just a little tag on so you can write the date or where you've been and again this one's got a little pocket let me just grab a piece of card you can go all the way down so you can add a full photo in there as well this opens out and then you've got space for photos of two four six eight ten photos absolutely better there and then space here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so there we go with this piece as well and when it's fully open maybe you could uh, 
add a little, you could actually add a little corner there to do his little tuck spot as well. But I just love that staggered waterfall. And then I love this one. I've left some little bits inside there and some little tags. This is one of the die cuts that you can use. And it was meant to be sealed. It's a little envelope it is. But I didn't... When you close the envelope, you would have just seen the flap on the other side. I wanted to showcase the back of the envelope. So I creased it backwards. So you can slot your bits in. These are more banners if you want to decorate anything else and then you can push that up so you could remove this if you want and add a photo there you could get a photo there as well this is just DSP love the hearts and then I made th these with slits inside with a beautiful die I've just had I received absolutely gorgeous so I cut black cardstock out first then I cut the slit st I stuck that over the top and then I Got it for my tag, which needs decorating. And then this one fits the whole length of the page. I adore this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And yet, I've got to still decorate. But this is a flap that opens up, giving you space for six 3x3 three three photos. Absolutely adore it. It's just so cute. Or you can journal. Just add some small photos. And the gap space there, believe it or not, is five inches. So you can get some five by three photos if you're willing to go over the side. So yeah. So I did that all the way down. Just give this staggered look. Beautiful butterflies. And then this flips open for more photo spaces. On here and here. And then this is a pocket. And I put this beautiful, beautiful my piece of card gone there it is and then you can add a full size photo on here as well go all the way down and at the bottom you can write something really pretty on there that'll go so you can get a good size photo on there and there and the same in the back as well It's beautiful tags and you can fit another photo there and there I mean it's endless you can doesn't matter how many of these you've got you can get maybe two or three of those in there or just keep adding but yeah these have got more these are five by five by four five by five five by five five by four and this just folds shut then I love it I love it love it love it and then this one flips open and I just used these beautiful dies that I had to create two little um, spaces so you could add a really large photo one there, two small ones, and the same there. And then just slide that under there. It is a little bit awkward, but it's worth it. And then you could photo it. I put a huge photo with there. Oops. Come on, Gina, now you're going <laughs> to... Trust me to get it trapped. There we go. Pull it out sensibly. You could add a, uh, a photo there and there, and then slide your mat in. And this goes all the way down to the bottom, and near enough all the way down to the top as well. So you could just tuck that in there as well. So on this page, I added something a bit different. These are pockets for tags, and you could add a three by three photo here and here, or you could do a five by five and cover them up. They open out again. I don't know what that is. Let me have a look. So that's my rubber. It's coming, whatever it is. There you go, it's coming off slowly. There we go, that's better. So this has got space for a 5x5, five five. and again this one, and this one's got a little tuck spot in there as well. You could add a six by four photos here and journal on the side. This opens up then, giving another six by four and a three by three. And then down here, <coughs> we've got, I've left this so you can journal. You can still get a, a good size photograph there, maybe some more journaling. Uh, oh, I did, I did 
glue that all the way down. I did put a little embellishment there, but it was too bulky. Uh, I've done another booklet. Bravely she flies. I love it. And this is another little tuck spot area as well. So that could go. She could add a photo on there as well. And then you open it up. Six by four photos. Beautiful. Again, tuck that in yet. You could add more to that. Or just push extra photos in. I thought I'd left that so you could tuck. But you could add a nice photo there as well. And then this folds over. And these fold shut. Love them. And again, another pocket. Where's the pocket? Where's the pocket gone? Well, I should have had four. <laughs> I did have four. Have I put two in this one? Yes, I have. I put two in the wrong, in this one. So I did all the cards different. This one has got space. I'm going to add a designer series paper. Um, so you could have some really long photos. I knew they were all in there. And I'd done them different. So I did a full size one for an 8x10. Probably, I think. I th No, 7 by... Well, this is a 7x9 card. So you get a rather large photo there. And... You probably get a big photo, and then I'm going to add some more designer series paper. I did each of the inserts totally different. So, I will finish off decorating those at my own leisure. And then they go in there as well. This is the back page. Again, just another tuck spot. You could add some of those more booklets. You could get two or three in there probably. And we've still got to add strips. So see, you've got space for an extra page here, because that is three quarters of an inch. They all are, yeah. Definitely get another page in there if you wanted to. I should have just, like I say, separated the two pages and pulled them here and had a bigger gap in the centre. But I love this. This is another top spot area, so you could get another photograph there. Love this. Oh, it's one of my faves. My all-time favourite is my ingredients book. I love that. So again, these all layers of waterfall. You've got a booklet here. This opens up and I've used one of the cut parts. It is not enough to be busy, so are the ants. This question is, what are we busy about? Exactly. And then these are six by four photo mats. But these of this gorgeous gatefold card space for more smaller photos or you can open them photos on the back on there as well and then I did a flap over with more photo space so you've got two four five six seven eight nine oops and then the booklet 10, 11, 12, 13. You could hold 13 photos in there. And then that keeps all that shut close together. Love the blocking of this. Just love to see the black. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. I do love this. And you, like I'm saying, a couple more booklets. So you, I'm talking 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, let's count. And then 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, if you, 36, 37 if you want to put 4, 37, uh, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43 on the backs. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 51. And if you want to add uh, more, you could. And then another four in there. Uh, so that's 55. And then 11 here, so which just makes 66. And then you've got all these. I have uh, got to work. Have I done these yet? No. I left these ones plain. So you could still get a 6x4 on there and there. So that's 
66, 70, 78, 79, 100, oh, 79, 100, 80, <laughs> 82, 84, you could probably get two on that page, so that's 86, and then four in there, and four in there, 86, 94, um, and then another two small ones on there, and another two on there, so that's 94, 96, 98, and then two there, that's 100 photographs, another load in the booklet in there, another four possibly in there, so that's 104 it will hold up to now. You probably get one large one there. 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, uh, 114, uh, one there or two good sized ones there, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 121 and depending on your booklets and how many more you add, You could get uh, one, two, one, one, two, three, and then a booklet with four. You're talking about 130 pictures in this album. You could add some on the front. You could also add a couple on the back, and maybe even get some nice three by threes down the spine. So you're talking about 130 photographs, easy. And I've got to continue then to add just those extra few strips and decorate up those inner cards but yeah i just wanted to show you the walkthrough before the video starts i hope you enjoy it i've had so much fun making these and i will make the christmas album i've also sent away for some more papers today uh happy birthday girl and happy birthday boy i will not straight away but towards uh, the end of the year maybe the beginning of next i'm going to be making huge photo albums this size for Frankie and Lola ready for their birthdays because they love to take photographs. This one I'm thinking of gifting to my sister for Christmas and uh, yeah so or if anyone is interested I don't sell for profit I only sell to cover the materials my time is my uh, present to whoever buys an album from me I only cover the cost of the materials so I can continue to make more so if anyone's interested, you can email me on gainer.boyce at sky.com, all lowercase. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the videos that are coming up next, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to press subscribe and the little bell, that way you'll be notified of all future videos. Till next time. Bye.